Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So it's the last day of February and I'm really excited to make this video. I watched Lisa Papez do a video a few weeks ago on her journal or her tarot agenda sort of type plan. So I want to make a VR to that because I have been a happy planner girl and a foxy fix girl for quite a few years now. And this year I'm going somewhere different with it um, based on my tarot plans. And clearly, tarot nap plans. So if you want to see more and see what I'm going to do for 2022, stay tuned. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And check me out at tarot nap plans on IG and Facebook group. See you in a second, guys. Alright, guys. Let's get right into this. So this is a Foxy Fix number seven. It's the Kaye size for notebooks and it is the wide. I don't believe Foxy Fix is still in business anymore, but if they are, I'll link them down below. I'm also in a couple of Facebook groups where they do trades and stuff. Um, mine, I got uh, monogrammed. I got an N put here on the side and I put Oana in the front. When this blueberry color came out, man, everyone went insane for it. And it definitely made me think of Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, which I love. So I put Ohana in it in pink. And there's like a little pen thing. Anyways, I love this size because it's the same height as a regular traveler's notebook, I believe, but just wider this way. So it gives more writing space. So that's why I liked it this size. Um, I haven't set it up with decorations quite yet. I'm trying to keep it a little more plain so I can really focus on its use. So I have a couple of these thicker notebooks here and then the thinner ones. So you can kind of see what I got going on here and the pockets that are in the back as well. I believe there's like one, two, three, four, six strings in this, the way that it's designed. So in the first one, I've set up kind of um, my spreads for the year or how I plan to do it. Everything is like in trial basis right now. I've went through February. I'm still using it and practicing it and filling it out. But I want to show you guys what I have started. So my card of the year is the Hermit. I definitely want to like write out more information about the Hermit and maybe try drawing a different version of the Hermit. So I left this page here for the Hermit card. So I was just filming my video on the Trumcast Tarot. So what I've been doing is picking a Trumcast Tarot every day as my card of the day. And I've started to also to pick it not just for the day, but for like an event or a situation or a time or anything particular in my day. So I've been writing those down here. So that's been great. I'm developed. I found one of these on Instagram. So it's like your monthly spread. So I did that for January. So I plan to do it for like February and do it. So I filled it in for two more months and we'll see how it goes. But I left enough room to do it for the whole year. And then I'm starting to do some other spreads. So I still need to do my year ahead spread. I'm sure I did one in January but that, uh, or in December. But I didn't write it down. So I want to do another one and write it all down. I know we're the end of January but it is what it is. Um, and then I'm starting to write in other spreads, random spreads that I'm just doing. Like I said, I'm busy, man. So I do it when I can, but I'm planning on filling it out more. So this is fun. Um, and then Ethany has a Tarot by the Moon book. So what I did was I, I minimized it on the pa printer pages that I was doing. So I believe I did print and cut out one that was like, I think, six a page. And I'm just going to staple it together and put it in my regular planner or leave it on my reading space. But this one, I believe I did six in a page on printer paper. Um, sorry, sticker printer paper. And then I printed it at home and then cut it and put it in here. So I still have to fill these out. Like I said, I'm still working on filling things out. But these are kind of, so I initially I did this before I made this. So I put it in here. Here we go for the last one. And so this is actually for tonight. So I'm actually about to go do this. So that'll be fun. And then I put them in for the whole year. So that I have room to pick like 
write down any crystals I might use, candles I might use, do the spread, and then write my interpretations of it. So that's what I'm planning on doing with this journal. And then this one is like my YouTube journal. So I have like all my moon stuff, my regular tarot spreads that I'm doing, and my card of the day that I'm doing. If I'm doing any courses and stuff, I could add another notebook, obviously. Um, this is going to be kind of like my youtube -y stuff. So I'll give you a sneak peek into how I'm planning this year. So it's funny because I was just talking to one of my friends about my channel and realized as of today, February 31st, I have 117 subscribers and I've been doing this already for eight months. Crazy. Eight months? I was thinking it was like five or six. So I wrote down all of my videos that I did in 2022 so that I know what I've done. Um, and I'm planning on going through all the decks that I have or that I possibly am calling and writing those through. So this is what I did for January. As, as I was getting ready to do my videos, I wrote them down if they were filmed, edited, and uploaded. As you can see, Charmcast Tarot did not get done in January. Like, I'm filming it technically in January, but I'm going to upload it in February. So I've already started slowly getting ready for February and then like my declutter box for March maybe and anyway so I left room to do that so I left room to do that for every month of the year and then these are decks that I believe yes I have ordered pre-ordered backed on Kickstarter whatever that should be coming in in 2022 and may already have so like the Alumans Tarot um, so, like, orders. So, like, I got the beginning of the mini Divi, but she's going to be doing another Kickstarter. So, then I'll click ordered when I've actually ordered that and it's funded and everything. So, so far, these are all the ones that are ready to come in this year. Um, like, Seasons of the Witch Beltane. I just sewed a bag for that one. Seeker, or The Seeker's Oracle. I already have a bag ready for that one. I actually should have did, like, a thing for bags. Um... And yes, man, guys, it's hard to say. I've been avoiding the Reclaim Oracle deck for months and months. I was not into the artwork. And finally, after watching Danny Mystic's newest video and then going back and watching um, Lisa's video on it from when she first got it, I caved and I bought it. And I hope it's as good as everyone says, you know. Um, and then I want to write down, after I'm done, like, I'm pretty sure I've culled my collection for this year. Or I guess for 2021, however you do that. All the ones that I know for sure I'm keeping no matter what, that will not be on any chopping block, I want to actually write them down here. Um, and then write down if I've made a film on them or not, especially the incoming ones. So that I know what videos I can still make. And I even, I'm going to do an oracle list. Um, if you have anything else that you think I should be recording, let me know. Let me know what you're doing with your tarot journal system. You know, I had bought another agenda thinking I was going to use that. And I do have um, the Witch's Diary one from Llewellyn that I'm using for work. I just like write in any appointments I may have if I called in sick, whatever, any assignments I might have to do for work in that one. So it's like very worky based. Um, but I'd love to see what you guys do for your tarot stuff. For me, I'm trying to keep it simple. I tried to do a couple of different things last year and it was kind of a shit show. So I decided to kind of make it simple this year. All in one notebook. Yes, it's organized, but it's all in one notebook for me to grab and go. Um, and along with that. Oh, look at me getting all disorganized here, guys. Um, I have this pouch from the Happy Planner. Like I said, I love me some Happy Planner. And these are a lot of the pens that I use. I love my Stabilos, my Papermate Ink Joys, but they take a minute to dry. Um, I really love this one. What is this? A Uniball Signo. Um, when I'm drawing stuff, I love this little ruler. Um, the Stadlers are great, but definitely like the Stabilos are a little lighter on the ink. So those are really great. So yeah, I have a whole chunk of those i really really love those along with those if i'm highlighting anything oops see they're everywhere 
The other thing that I love is this bad boy that I keep here beside my desk. I love these guys. The mild liners. Um, I do like these guys. The friction pilot pens. I haven't used those in a while though. Um, they do also make those in the highlighter. Um, this is a nice fun thing for journaling from We Are Memory Keepers that I got at Michael's. Um, and I have this also from Foxy Fix to keep pens in. Oh, and these bad boys from, oh man, Muji pens from Muji. I got these in Vancouver and I absolutely adore these pens. Shout out to Kelly. Bring me some Muji when you come to visit. <laughs> Um, so that is that, guys. I hope you enjoyed my, um, tarot journal planner plans for 2022. And let me know what yours are. So until next time, I'll see you around on IG and Facebook. Tarot Net Plans. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, bye, guys.